Hello everyone, how are you all doing out there? I'm Kate Hill bringing you the best unbiased and honest content on property along with fantastic hints and tips. Stay tuned today for the ways that you can get to financial freedom through property. Now, do you dream of financial freedom and the ability to live life on your terms? If so, you are in the right place. Today, I'm going to share with you the uh, main steps to get to that financial freedom, specifically through property. Step one, it sounds a little bit boring, but education. You need to understand the basics of real estate investing, including financing options, property valuations, market analysis, and property management. This knowledge will help you make informed decisions and avoid those terror, fear-inducing costly mistakes. And the same goes for which professionals to use. Do some homework before you leap on in. Step two, on the journey to financial freedom is the accumulation phase. Now, this is where you start buying properties that when owned, outright, ideally in the future, will provide you with a steady passive income. When you set this goal, you might aim to achieve, say, $100,000 worth of passive income. To achieve this, you need to be buying high quality properties in great locations with a cash flow outcome good enough so that you can afford to hold them for the long term. Now, to explain the accumulation phase, uh, when investing in property, it refers to the stage of the investment process where an investor acquires multiple properties with the goal of generating that passive income in the future. During this phase, the focus is on purchasing properties that have the potential for long-term appreciation and can provide appropriate cash flow through rental income. The accumulation phase is so important, obviously, because it lays the foundation for achieving that financial freedom. By acquiring and accumulating multiple properties during this phase, investors can create a diversified portfolio that generates passive income uh, eventually and builds equity over time. This income can be reinvested to acquire more properties, used to pay off existing debts and accelerate the path to that financial freedom. By purchasing properties during the accumulation phase, investors can take advantage of capital gains and appreciation in property values over time. This can lead to significant increase in the value of the investor's portfolio and provide additional equity that can be used again to finance future investments. Step three, it's called the consolidation phase. The consolidation phase in property investing is the stage where you shift your focus from just acquiring more and more property to maximizing the returns from that existing portfolio. During this phase, you might opt to sell underperforming properties. You could improve existing properties to increase their value and rental income. You can refinance properties to reduce debt or extract equity for further investment opportunities. One of the primary goals of the consolidation phase is to optimize the cash flow generated by your property portfolio. You've done all the hard work of acquiring it. You may reevaluate rental rates, reduce expenses, negotiate with lenders to obtain more favorable loan terms to increase your net income, or at the start, uh, reduce those expenses. Ultimately, this consolidation phase aims to create that stable, low maintenance and passive income stream for the investor allowing you to enjoy the fruits of your labor without having to devote significant time and effort to managing your property portfolio. Because you need to be working on other income streams, right? Step four is growth. A property investment will grow in value, for example, through a combination of factors, including market conditions, demand for housing in the area that your property is in, improvements made to the property and the overall economy of that area. Market conditions play a significant role 
in property values. If there is a shortage of properties in a particular area and high demand from buyers, then the price of properties in that area will likely increase. Conversely, if there is a surplus of properties and low demand, property prices may decrease. Demand for housing in that area uh, will affect property values. If the area is desirable due to factors like good schools, convenient transportation links, uh, the jobs nodes, access to amenities, demand for housing in the area will increase, leading to higher property values. Improvements made to the property can also increase its value. Renovations, upgrades, additions, such as new kitchens, bathrooms and extension can all make a property more attractive to buyers and increase its value. The overall economy can also impact property values. In times of economic growth and stability, property values tend to increase. Uh, again, the reverse. In times of economic downturn or recessions, property values may decrease, not always. But these factors all work together, so keep that in mind and understanding them will help investors make informed decisions when buying and managing their property investments. Step number five, the ultimate goal, Shangri-La, passive income. It is the ultimate goal, like I say, for many property investors, and it is the stage where they can truly reap the rewards of their hard work and investments over the years. Passive income means that an investor is earning a consistent stream of income from their real estate investments without actually and actively having to work for it. To achieve passive income, you need to have already built up that portfolio of income generating properties through those previous phases of your property investment journey. This income can come from a variety of sources such as rental income and capital gains. Uh, rental income is generated obviously from the tenants who pay monthly or weekly rent for the use of the property. Capital gains come from the increase in the value of the property over time. To achieve a reliable and steady income stream of passive income, investors need to have a well-managed portfolio with good growth strategies in place. This involves selecting the right properties in the first place, setting appropriate rent rates, more on that in another video, maintaining the properties to a good standard and regularly reviewing and adjusting the portfolio to ensure maximum return on investment. With the right approach, Passive income from real estate can provide you with a stable and predictable source of income for years and years and years, forever really, allowing you to enjoy comfortable and financially secure future. It does require significant effort and dedication in the earlier stages of the property investment journey. It's not a get rich quick scheme. Don't think that any of this is easy, but it is very achievable. Don't think it's too hard either. I will keep you posted on all things property from around Australia. If you are enjoying the free content, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you would like help with your property investing, then contact us on the link below. And I will see you soon. Bye.